Hi guys, Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial is on the quadruplicate bracelet. Um, this is the original one that I made, and these are a couple that I made this week. It's a very straightforward um, style of design, but it's a little bit, it's just slightly fiddly. You can do it with a normal hook, or you can do it with a double ended hook for the um, the second part of it because it's a chain and then in this one the lighter blue is the second step and then the black um, Egyptian I think they are um, is the third step so for this second step um, in here you can use I'll show you both ways using just the normal hook which I prefer or using the uh, double ended hook which does make it slightly simpler so I've already started a little chain to show you and I know um, some other loomers um, gosh Chidara's bling and um, I know Lala's Gigi they do uh, put things like the stitch markers and things in to hold it and I haven't found stitch markers because I haven't been uh, looking in the craft stores but I did find in a cheap shop uh, one of these baby um, pins so it's like a nappy pin and I bought like a pack of them and I find that that's actually not too bad for me. Um, it's very light, so you can kind of keep it out of the way pretty easily anyway. So that's a, another use uh, for a nappy pin if you have one. <laughs> okay, so for this first step, what we're going to do is actually go through sideways. And there's going to be a middle band and then two chains on either side of that. But to do that, you've got a choice of the way you want to do it. Okay, so I'll move that one out of the way. The way that I would do it, because I just, you know, me and leaf stitches, is that I do a leaf stitch and add an, an, an extra one on. So I get it by doing a standard leaf stitch, which is one over the top like that, going over the top of that, picking that one up on the other side. And I just hang on to that by putting my finger on it and pull another, got to put a little bit of tension on there and pull another one through. So basically you've got a leaf stitch but it's got two chains on the top and then I grab that and pull that through. And before you connect them you have to go up to the next one. Now the cat band is sideways so you're going through this way like so. Then you just attach it and put two chains on this side to even it up. One, two, like so. It's going to look all kind of wibbly wobbly before you get to the final um, border but yeah just know that it will look a bit weird. So again the way I'm doing it is that one there, the other one on top, going over that one, under that one, holding onto that with my finger, and then putting another one on, pulling that down for a bit of tension, and pulling another one through. Like so. Then pulling that through, so that it goes all the way through these first two go all the way through and it's this long tail the stem of the leaf stitch that's in the middle go up to your next chain in the middle and go straight through the side pick that one up and put another two on there on that left side. So you just keep doing that. Oops. So leave stitch, hang on to that, put a bit of tension on that, pull another one through. And then pull that one all the way 
way through to you onto the stem part. Put it through, pick up that one on that side and add two on. Just onto that purple one. Doke. Now I'll show you the way you can do it with your double ended hook. So I'll just transfer this across. I'm just going to pick up all those loops. Okay, so to do it the double ended way, all you need to do is pick up one loop, pull it through everything. And put the hook through the chain and reattach. Then on the left side put two chains on and then turn it. No, just flick that one over to the back, it doesn't really matter. Just to get out of the way. Turn it round, slide it down, and then put two on the other side. So if you are not comfortable with doing the leaf stitch with the extra, then and you have a double-ended hook, you can do it this way. So pulling that through, like so, grabbing the next chain, attaching. Oh, I've skipped one there by accident. Oh, no, I haven't. Or have I? Oh, that's no, good. And then we have two on the left side, and then we're going to flip it over, slide it along, and go to on the opposite side. Now, you don't have to flip this forward if you don't want to. I just find it easier to do that for when I'm picking up the next one. And at this stage, it doesn't matter which is front and back. Whereas when you do the final uh, border, it does matter which is front and back. Since we're working side to side here, it doesn't actually matter. So, again, with the double ended hook, just pulling that one through, sliding the hook through the next chain up, two on that side. Turn it round, pop that one out of the way, and put two on this side. Like so. And when you get to the length that you need, it's not going to change an awful amount. I, I would probably make the chain just slightly longer than your wrist, maybe one or two chains longer. Then your wrist, and then that would um, it, the the side does gather up slightly, but yeah, it's not a huge gather. Doing it this way, and so when you've got it to the length that you think you need, what I've been doing is working out which side I'm going to make the front, and making sure that my clip. Okay, let me let me just do it this way. If I put it in from this side, through all the loops, to keep those secure, this is going to be my front, because when I come up this border, I'm only going to have to take, I can just um, take it off easily this side, off this clip. It's not a major issue, but I just discovered that it was easier um, to make the front side the side that actually had the bit you could release on. That's just a little tip. Okay, you can put um, C clips, one there, one there, and one there if you like. That's another um, easy option to do. So next one, we're going to get our final border color. So I'm going to get rid of these 
Normally I wouldn't because I'm not sure how long it's going to be. But for this, these purposes, I'm just going to take those off. So I assume I've reached the roughly the length that I want. Okay. Now you just grab your colour that you want to use for your border, the final border. And it's going to be simply gathering up. If you have a look, these bands are showing up a really weird colour on here. They're the royal purple, but they can make very blue on here. Okay, so see where you've got a cross band that runs through the chain on each of those. And then you've got the first um, band that you pulled through that, the first chain that you pulled through. And then the second chain went up and the cross band went across to that. What we're going to be using is this first chain that we went through. So if you pull it out like that, you should see the cross band and then one chain and then another one going up to the next cross band. So you need to start by going in through that one and just pulling that through and then finding the next one. And the way to find the next one is finding that cross band and sitting it so that it cross band looks like that and you'll be picking up this chain sitting in like the smile direction with it parting at the top not sitting like if it gets twisted you don't want to pick it up sitting like that so you want to pick it up going through like that and then just simply grab another one and pull it all the way through it's a really simple thing for this end is just working out which one you want to pick up so again you're looking for I wish I could get my lighting to work, but anyway. So I'm just seeing if I can get it to show up a little bit easier. So you go up to the next cross band and you want to pick this one up. So you're going through like that and picking up, putting on a new band the very side border. Coming and finding that one and picking it up. So I'll just finish this to the top of this little section I've got here. Again finishing to the top of that one. Pulling that through. Finding that cross band. Like so, pulling that through, like so, and then at the top, I'll just show you what I've done here, I put another chain on, so we've gone just gone through that one here. And then I've just taken a band, the colour of that middle one, which in our case will be the purple, and I've pulled that through the top band. Sorry. And I've pulled that through the first band as well. So instead of this band going just through this purple one, I've taken it off and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that through this like so. Okay, so all I need to be taking off this at the moment is just that one side of that loop which is why I discovered that doing it this way Whoops, is she flicking it off? Grab that, pull that one through there, and pop it back on. Like so. So 
so that's the look. Slightly different look on the back. This will also curl under, which is the, the look is actually kind of like this. So we want this to curl under like that. And it'll sit up slightly curl, curved in at the top. It's not a big curve, but just enough. All right, so we're going to go up to the next one. And we're going to work backwards, coming back down this way. I'm wondering if I should get a different colour to work on. That might. I don't know if that's going to help, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so we're coming down, doing exactly the same thing, but backwards. So here's the cross band. Here's the first one that it's picked up. And you just put a band through. Come down towards yourself. Find that next cross band. And find this one on the end here. Come up through there. Pull that one through. Flip it towards yourself. So before we flip it, I'll show you. It's this one. Coming up through that. Through the hole that you can see. So coming up through there. And pulling that through. Again, finding the next cross band, the one that's on the end of it. Coming up through it. Cross band, the one that's on the end of it. Pulling that band through it. Getting up to that last cross band. Oh, looks like I've picked up too many, but anyway. That last cross band, and that shouldn't be hanging on the pin there, but anyway, we'll go up through that, like so, like that, and we're also going to get this loop here, hang on, I'm just going to fix this because it's sitting strangely and could confuse you. We only want six loops on there. Okay. So that's the way it should be sitting. Like so. Now we want to get this loop here. This loop here is going to be pulled through these two that are on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do that while it's still on here. Pull that through. Like so. I'm going to grab all of those back onto the hook. So see this one? I'm pulling on it so this loop is tightening. So I've got to get that loop out so that I can put my hook through it. Those two middle ones. Like that. Okay, so this is currently the back. And it will start to curve in a little bit. And then all I did is I pulled the six of those in with the central colour again. So I pulled one band through the six of those. You may decide that that's not the way you want to end it, but um, I liked the way the start and finish had this as the end one. This started and finished roughly the same, and this started and finished roughly in the same spot. So that's the reason I actually did it that way. Um, you can close it in the other way that you like, of course. And because it kind of pulls it in together, because of the curve, I think it doesn't... Um, do badly at suiting the style of the bracelet as well. All right, and then of course you just need to grab a C-clip and clip that on there, 
bring it round and clip it on there. Easy peasy. So that is the quadruplicate. And I'm really sorry about my lighting today because I think it was maybe a bit challenging with those um, purple bands. Um, and as you see with this, on each of these, the side border actually tends to curl under like that. So it's happened with each of these. This one not so much. I haven't worn this one as much, but when you stretch it out, it kind of that's what its tendency is, is to slip around the back. And this is the original one. So again, the tendency is sort of to slip around the back a bit more rather than sitting out really flat like that, it will tend to curl around a little bit like that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, Quadruplicate, which is made on request by Lumelia. Um, it's one of my older designs that I hadn't had a tutorial done on. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy making it. It works up really quickly and you've got an amazing color choice to go with. So uh, if you do make it, I'd love to see it on Instagram. So please tag me, uh, Crazy Just Might Work, on your photos and in your comments, and I'll come take a look. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.